everyone, welcome to the, another episode of the Dev Talk series for Sapana Cloud. And uh, today we will be talking about the email functionality of the connectivity service. And with me I have Stefan Merker. Stefan, <laughs> Stefan you are the product owner for this functionality. Um, and um, as always in the Dev Talks uh, series, we would like to know from you what the email functionality for the connectivity service is about. So, my first question, why such a long name? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the past we um, used to call ourselves mail service, but with mail service you often uh, think that we will provide uh, you with mail infrastructure like mailboxes and mm -hmm. uh, mail gateways, but all this is not provided by so I can't uh, get, Runner Cloud. So I can't get from you an email at sapanacloud.com or something That's like correct, that. you can't get that. Okay, so um, what do people get uh, with the email functionality? Uh, you get the possibility to send emails uh, via your email provider mm -hmm. and you can also uh, receive emails from the mailbox at your email provider. Let me draw a short picture that's maybe okay, sure, way sure, sure. to start. So let's say we have here our HANA Cloud. So we have a HANA. Mm -hmm. And inside you have your application mm -hmm. and you want to send an email from your application. Okay. For that you will need a email provider. So, okay, so meaning that this use case doesn't mean that I'm not sitting in front of my computer when I send an email, because for that I have my Windows tool, right? It's about having an application that wants to send an email on my behalf. Right? Yeah, examples are, for instance, uh, confirmation mails, alerts, or mm -hmm. a uh, link when you signed in and get an account, or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, the receiving email is a very rare use case uh, that is hardly used, but sending email is something quite common. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, then of course, uh, since we are on a cloud, we have uh, a big, a big firewall, firewall between between the application and the rest of the world. Okay, exactly. And what the uh, email functionality provides you is um, some holes for the ports that you need to send emails. That is the ports for SMTP as in protocol, S mm -hmm. and uh, we. Uh, provide you first of all with a library that allows you to send email. That's a standard Java X uh, library, so mm -hmm. nothing special. It's known from from all JDB servers, and from here you can send through the firewall emails uh, to your email provider. M meaning via a tunnel that you create. It's uh, just an open port. It's okay. just a C C C port for SMTPS. It's a uh, four six. If I remember correctly, and mm -hmm. uh, this port is just open for outgoing connections from your application to the email provider. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, one thing is missing now because uh, you have to tell your application which uh, email provider you want to use. You have to write credentials, etc. And that's why you write something that we let's say uh, call an email destination. Mm -hmm. That's a properties file that uh, contains the configuration that is needed uh, to configure Java X mail. So and, and this properties file is part of your application or your deployment of the application, right? Right. You uh, deploy, it, deploy it to your application via the Neo command line tool and uh, as with all services from the connectivity service with put destination. Mm -hmm. But I can also use this uh, in my normal Eclipse environment, right? So it, it's just another file that I need to add to the, what is to be deployed, right? Right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And inside this file you uh, provide your credentials, uh, the mail protocol, because there are quite some protocols, it's not just SMTP, but you can, uh, SMTPS, you can also use SMTP plus start DLS on a different port, and uh, you configure the authentication method, username, password for your mail account, and so, that's it. Okay, okay. So, that the, um, these credentials are, re are really secured inside the application, not accessible from the outside world. That's right. They are secured and uh, they are stored in a uh, secure storage and uh, they will not show up somewhere in a uh, visible database, etc. That's, let's say, uh, important. Of course, you can use Java XML also yourself with plain Java means. That's no problem. But then you have the problem where to store your credentials in a secure way. Okay, so that, that's what you're saying is now the difference between the uh, plain Java X mail uh, library that, that you can use and the actual functionality mm -hmm. that the connectivity service provides for emails, right? Right. 
So again, the API that you use to compose mails and, and finally send them is plain uh, Java X mail, but um, via this uh, destination, you uh, configure a resource and then you can do a JNDI lookup and uh, obtain a pre-configured uh, Java X mail session according to this uh, mail destination and then everything is set up and you're fine to send your emails. That's finally it. Okay, so, but what you're saying is that um, this is not meant to be used for, um, um, for, for cases where you have uh, an application with many users and each user gets, is, is able to send out emails uh, by him or herself. It's mainly just kind of an, a means for one user to, the, to uh, send emails or can you even create this properties file for many users? Typically, uh, you have uh, one mail account for one application, one property file, and then you send emails to many um, email receivers, etc., via this uh, single account. That's a typical use case. Okay, okay. So meaning that this is really an email for the application. It's right. not. It's not an email for a user of an application. No, it's an email of the application because the email uh, the application wants to send an email. Okay, okay. And if it's I'm not intended to implement uh, a full featured mail client. Uh, right. That's not the idea. It's an idea to have an application that sends out alerts, etc., to, to a list of uh, users. Okay, so, and um, I understand this. So how is this part now, or how did this become part of the connectivity service? Because if I remember well, this was um, a standalone service. You already mentioned it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, so how, why is this part now of the connectivity service? Uh, we decided to merge the formerly <laughs> known mail service into the connectivity service because at the end of the day we are talking here about connectivity from uh, a cloud application to, to a, f a foreign system and uh, okay. it just happens to use the SMTP protocol instead of HTTP and in the long run the connectivity service uh, will be the service that supports outside connectivity for different protocols today HTTP and uh, the mail protocols, it's uh, SMTP plus IMAP plus uh, POP3 mm -hmm. and in the future more protocols may come. Okay, so it's kind of now the uh, an umbrella for all kinds of, exactly. of, of functionality that it's, purpose. It's not only an umbrella, it's also that we use uh, the same concept, so also the uh, HTTP connectivity uses destinations, so it's the same concept, you provide your uh, credentials and your connectivity information in uh, destination information, that's the abstraction for the configuration, you upload it via put destination and you go. And the same concept should be used for more or less all ah, okay. uh, so different connectivity types. So meaning that I I'm working in the application with a JNDI lookup of to, um, to the name of the property file, is it? Yeah, it's it exactly the same. Like yeah. the destination so so ty typically you use the name session because that's uh, somehow the recommended name for, for mail from, from the JE specs and uh, uh, then you make a lookup on the mail slash session and Mm -hmm. if, if people want to get started um, um, using this, how do they do this? I, I saw in the documentation there is some sample code. There's a, a sample code in the documentation, but actually the easier way to start is uh, to download the SDK and in the SDK, SDK you find a samples folder and in the samples folder you find a ready-to-use uh, mail application. You import it in the IDE or alternatively you can directly build it with Maven, you get mm -hmm. the war, you deploy it. And uh, it's actually the same application in the SDK and also that we explain step by step in the tutorial. But there's okay. no need to type long. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not not nobody wants to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. So, um, what comes next? So, I mean, we have now this functionality. You're done, right? So, nothing else to do? That's right. Nah, unfortunately not. <laughs> uh, one missing functionality uh, that we get asked is uh, that we allow an application to send email via the corp via corporate mail infrastructure. So let's say you are a big company and you have your own mail infrastructure, then you don't want to use uh, a mail provider that's available in the internet, like mm -hmm. some of the well-known uh, providers, but instead you want to use your own corporate, corporate mail mm -hmm. infrastructure. And for that uh, we have uh, to provide a tunnel into your corporate infrastructure and that is exactly again connectivity service and the cloud connector that mm -hmm. we heard about in one of the other dev talks yeah. and uh, yes we will uh, we plan to integrate also the mail protocol in the cloud ah, connector. Okay, okay so got it. So meaning that uh, again then for this to use the service you will have to install the, um, the um, uh, cloud connector and then mm -hmm. Explicitly, explicitly open up a, a port or a, a, um, a resource, let's say, to this uh, mail server, the, the corporate internal mail server, right? Exactly. Okay. 
Okay. That's the idea. Yeah. But that's future. <laughs> that's future. Anything more coming coming uh, coming next or? There's one thing that comes pretty soon. Let's say uh, it's uh, the support of uh, multi tenancy for uh, mail mm -hmm. destinations. That's not yet supported right now. You have one application, one destination, and that's it. And for the subscription model, you may have a usage scenario where you want to have for each subscription of an application in another account uh, a different uh, settings for your mail provider that's uh, coming up soon and the connectivity into corporate mail infrastructure comes later. <laughs> okay, great. Um, if people have questions, they can use the normal channels on SCN, maybe also yeah. pinging you or directly sending you a message on, on SCN. Stefan Merker, I will put the link also um, at the end of this video. Um, I would say uh, thanks a lot for explaining this to us and uh, thanks for you to watch this and to listen to this uh, Dev Talks episode. See you at one of the next ones and uh, yeah, until then, bye bye. Bye bye.